Okay, Mandoki Soulmates backstage at the Beacon Theater in New York City with Backstage Pass. And I have to be honest, when I got this call, I was super excited to sit with my next guest. It's Nick Van Eed of Cutting Crew. Thank you for coming on my show. It is a pleasure to have you. Um, first time Mandoki Soulmates in the United States. Tell me about the vibe you're feeling tonight, being in New York. Um, being in New York always. So I've been for a while. It's been about four or five years. I've been doing this now for 10 years with this lot, and uh, there's always Americans in the band. There's some big New Yorkers, Randy, Brecker, Bill Evans, and so on. Corey. Corey, yeah. yes. So now, um, and I play America a lot with Cutting Crew, so to do this suddenly, at last, in, in America is quite important. It's going to be an odd one, you know? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a show like you've never seen before. It's, it's a spectacular show, and it'll confuse people at times. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, and, and it'll win you eventually, but it's very, very European concept, this kind of putting together all kinds of different different things. You know, I, I, I don't mean it unkindly at all, but American radio, for example, is very branded, isn't it? Very, you know, oh, it is, absolutely. You don't, you don't offend me by saying that one bit. You don't get Fleetwood Mac on the country radio. You don't get you know, that sort of stuff. Absolutely. You know? This is going to be a, 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 a brilliant mishmash. I love a mishmash. Yeah. Good, good and, words. Right? And it's a great thing to have super groups because um, people get to see so much that they usually wouldn't see. And I heard I heard that this is a three hour show. Am I correct on that? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be three hours, darling, yeah. We're gonna be giving out sandwiches <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> Good, I'm looking forward to it. Let me give you my tickets to show you where I'm sitting because I like one of those because I'm going to be I'll hungry. Throw one out, yeah. Yes, please. Um, at 18, you started touring. And I found it really funny when I was reading through your bio. Um, you took a kazoo with you. Can you tell me about that kazoo? Well, that's common parlance in America, is it a kazoo? Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, that's some countries know what that um, Well, I had so many songs that I was writing, you know, even I was writing from 14, and uh, I was always just the guy in the corner with the acoustic guitar, and I was so frustrated. So if there was a, a sax part that I'd written, the kazoo played it. If there was a lead guitar solo, the kazoo played it. So it probably sounded pretty awful, but it, it did show, it, 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 it allowed me to not right small you know uh, as co but unfortunately has a kind of comedy tag because you know. that's fascinating but um yeah i actually found a picture just the other day with me on stage supporting a big british band called slade who went on to write things like come on feel the noise you know and um all kinds of and uh, I've got the Telecaster, the rock stuff, and a kazoo in my mouth. So, pretty odd combination. Crazy. Thanks for digging that one up. Oh, I had to dig that one up. I was not going to let you live that one down. <laughs> Cutting Crew had a number one hit in 19 countries and here in the U.S. I Just Died In Your Arms was so well received by me as well, because I love that song. But personally, um, I've, I've always loved, I've been in love before. I, I really... That one resonated with me when I was a youngster, and I never imagined in my wildest dreams that one of my favorite songs I would be sitting and interviewing its maker. And this is exciting for me. And we're singing it tonight, and we're singing a lovely version of it. Yay! Um, we, I just spoke to somebody else about this. That, I'm um, so excited! <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> um, but we do a lot of touring with other 80s bands that when you, when they play their hits it's exactly the same as it was in 1984 or 5 or 6 and they've got lots of samples and sequences to make it sound even better and it's good but I find it frankly boring I would never stray too far from the original but at least kick it up a little bit for whatever you know just to keep it fresh for me and for you so um, I Just Died in Your Arms uh, has a whole new front with me playing acoustic guitar. I've been in love before. It's a beautiful piano ballad and then the band kicks in big. So oh, I love it's, um, it. Yeah, it's, it's, you've got to keep it fresh. You've got to, or oh, you go crazy. It's, it's 30 years, you know, it's 30 years. And to do it the same way, uh, but not disrespectfully. Right. Yeah. You because don't change it too much. I, I feel like if people change it too much, um, sometimes people get angry. Yeah, totally. They do. Because they're expecting to go and hear what they want to hear, what they're programmed to hear. And uh, I, I am guilty of that. Sometimes um, I have gotten upset, like walking out of the show going, but, but, but that's, but that I wasn't wanted to how, yeah. hear it the way that, I, that it was intended. But I love the artistic ability to be able to change things up and introduce people to a new ear of it yeah. and hear it in a different way and that's 
beautiful. Hey, it's not a hip hop version, and hey, it's not. If it if it was worse, if it were, I would if, want to videotape exactly. the whole thing, and we would be putting it on YouTube, and it would get ten million blasts yeah, because exactly, people yeah. would think it's really funny. <laughs> as long as it's better, that's my thing. So if it's a better version, that's fine, and I'm not any good. Well, to me, I have to say, I don't know how much better you can get because it was just a perfect song. As well, it take was. that as a lovely compliment. Yes, yes. I want to go to. Um, I want to go to a, a question that I ask people all the time. It's my favorite question to ask people. When you all of a sudden stop and look down and see that you have goosebumps all up and down your arms, what has been a goosey moment for you in your career? <laughs> I want the goosey, goosey moment. moment. The goosey moment. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got a good one. Um, I've been doing it a long time now, and uh, Radio City Music Hall, you know, with Starship was pretty cool. Johnny Carson's show was pretty cool. On his birthday, with Joe Piscopo, as his name was on the, with him, you know, so it was like 70 million people or something watched right. it. Um, but what beats all of that is a musical moment, and that was playing in Germany. Um, the first time ever I wore well, in-ear monitors. Yeah, you know about this. I you're, know you're all about in-ear monitors. But for, for the interview people, it's when you don't, when you put headphones in your ear so you hear everything beautifully. Now, I'm an old rocker and still now I choose to use wedges, you know, to, to hear the room. But we had to use them that night and there was a symphony orchestra backing me and it was, I'd been in love before. And I remember singing, catch my breath, close my eyes. And then the strings came in and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, it was oh, that's so cool! I love that. That's a great goosey moment. I'm getting goosey just thinking about it. I nearly missed it. my second verse because of that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That was cool. Yeah. I love that. When um, when Nick Van Eat is off tour and you've traveled the world and you just want to hang out, besides music, what do you dabble in? Mm. Um, my wife and I, uh, I have a daughter, beautiful daughter, um, but my wife and I didn't have kids, we couldn't have kids, so we gave up respectfully about, you know, 15 years ago, and so we've been our avid dog lovers, so we have greyhound, rescue greyhounds who get kicked out on the streets after they've been, you know, raced, it's a really odd thing, you know, greyhounds become these beautiful animals that these trainers make money out of, and then suddenly kick them on the streets, so we rescue them. And we find homes for them as well, for, and they give them away to other people. So we live near the beach down in Sussex in England, and so dogs, 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 and dogs. That would be number one. I'll be visiting soon. I'm booking my airfare. <laughs> Tell me the address. I'll be there. I love dogs. It's, yeah. These are greyhounds, or what's another br br breed? It's called a lurcher, which is the French lèche, which means to steal, and they were the. Um, the, uh, poachers dogs and they are half greyhound and half anything hairy so we have a dog called Riley who's like a hairy greyhound it's fantastic. <laughs> oh that's interesting I'd like to see a picture of that yeah we'll, uh, we'll do some kind of thing in a minute yeah, yeah it's very cool well this is my um I have we're gonna a... do dog now we're gonna do dogs yeah so we're doing dogs this is Thank my you. Georgie girl named after the seeker song in the 60s oh, cool. hey, hey there Georgie, Georgie girl, girl. I'm singing, I'm singing with Nick Van Eat. I'm in my absolute heaven she right now. Fun. She this looks is a fun. puggle. She's a pug and a beagle. A puggle? Is that a, a real... It is a real thing. It's a puggle. A and puggle. it's And it's, uh, it's, it's Georgie Girl. I love this. And a more exotic uh, answer would be, I love to scuba dive. So yes. if you took me anywhere that wasn't freezing cold, I would be scuba diving. That's because it's the only medium where I find, you know, I, my whole world is ears, you know, ears and throats, that singing and listening and producing, and when you're underwater, it's just that. Yes. And I love that. Yes. It's detachment. So scuba diving. Very cool. But not scuba diving with dogs, that would be a little... Have you ever tried to sing underwater? It's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> Gets, I was gets, trying to fool gets, you with that. It gets very messy. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to mess with you with that. Awesome. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with me. Um, I, my life is made today. I'm well, so enjoy the show happy. tonight. You will, and um, I'm looking forward to it. I'll keep a sandwich for you for around about two hours in. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. They tell him where I'm sitting. He's gonna chuck me a sandwich. <laughs> I said the show's so long. We got sandwiches oh, for, the, for the press. I love it. I love it. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah.